So this is a persistence of vision display. It's got a infrared remote control in your hand. It's got an infrared receiver on here. We'll look at it in a minute. Okay, show me what it does now. The, the, the word says pressed in there. It's nice and stable, too. Yep, so there are multiple patterns that can display with us. Uh, the, the zero display of static hard image. Uh huh. The one gives you an analog clock with the second hand constantly moving and the minute hand then that also moves. Mm hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, so this is a rotatable uh, phrase. So we can press a button on the remote control to make it move like that. Oh, cool. Okay. And uh, we can also stop the pad from moving. Uh, oh, you just jump to another pattern. Yeah, I think I pressed some something wrong. Um, let me get back to it. Yeah, some button we haven't just. Uh, oh, so okay. some buttons will have a map, so yeah, so now it's stopped. It's stable again, so, yes. Yeah. Um, also, there's a uh, digital clock. So that's our digital clock, and the, the, cool thing, the cool thing about this is that you are able to change each digit if you press test mode. Oh. So now you're you're lighting up all of the. Oh, I see. So, yeah. they, so you have a blinking cursor there. Yeah. Yes, and uh, you can turn the that that digit. Um, so if you if you go to the minute, uh, the tenth place of for the minute, um, press five. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. You can turn that. Okay, so you're 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 holding the I see, and the infrared receiver is on top of the the board. Okay, well that's a very nice display. All right, turn off the motor now, and so we can. And as it round winds down, it stays stable because it's looking at the. Okay, so now on here there's a CPU board, and that's the infrared receiver right there. Yeah. And then there's a line of LEDs, so surface mount LEDs that you put on the board. Yep. And then the red LED defines the outer boundary. Yes, that's a frame. That's very cool. And and uh, <clears throat> I, I can take it apart, show you the. Yeah, let's see the inside now. Yeah. Now that we've seen it run. I never get it going this way. So, so this box um, is filled up with uh, soil. To make it more stable, to make the stand more stable. So if oh, you oh, I see. So you put you that. put some you put some soil in there yeah. for for weight. That's yeah. low tech, but it sure works. <laughs> yeah. And what else is in there? There's uh, the motor, that's DC, the DC motor. motor, and ha having the wires coming out of this hole here. Uh huh. And the the, the wires for this uh, IR transmitter also comes out of this hole. Okay. So that's the inside of the box. But where where's the power coils on there? Yeah. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Let me show you. Right okay. Yeah, so that's the power. That's transmitter coil? That's the outer coil. Uh -huh. coil uh, the primary coil for, the, for our transformer. Uh huh, and that's the secondary coil yeah. there. Wow, that's tiny. And, you're, and, and, and then you have, and so then you're, you're rectifying it up here and turning it into DC power. Yes, yeah. you can that's a brave circuit here. And what frequency is yeah. it running at? Uh, about uh, 3K. 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 3 kilohertz. Yeah. Okay. And, and you're getting a couple of watts through there? Because you're lighting all the LEDs through it, so there's no battery on there at all. No, no, there's no battery. That's at all. amazing. So you have no electrical connections to this board. Yes. No. Yeah. All all power through wireless connection. All power through the wireless connection. So let me let me look at that coil. And how big around that coil? That coil's about a centimeter in diameter, right? Yeah. Yes. And and how did you engineer that? How did you decide how to build that? We just first we try to some put some battery, but it's too heavy and uh -huh. it's not stable. So we want to find some way to use some like wireless thing to like to make it lighter. Mm -hmm. yes. But how did you how did you know how to build it? Did you just look it up on uh, look it up on the web and find a, a working a working design and build it up? 
we'll have made a lot of yeah. tries. A lot of tries. I yeah. believe that. Well, that's very cool. That's that's uh, that's quite a nice system. Thank you.